Sorry it had to be like this, Ken. Son of a bitch! Fourteen hours a day I'm in that cab, busting my ass, while he's out getting some? I got one question to ask you, Candy. Do you still love him? I guess not, eh? We'll try this guy. He's good. Tell him I sent you. Yeah, Lydia? Lewis is on the line. He says it's real important. Lewis, what's up? Yeah? Oh. All right, I'll, I'll be down straight away. Candy, I've got to go. You stay, finish your drink. Pay Lydia on the way out. Detective Del Vecchio. Uh, over here. I want you to tell me, Jack, why did this guy have your business card in his pocket? His name is Tim Hutchins. He, he hired me to find his sister. Sir? Yeah. What happened? The guy's name is Jeff Parker, not Tim Hutchins. He was her ex-husband, not her brother. He shot her four times, then turned the gun on himself. Damn it, Jack! You taught me everything I know about being a cop. How could this have happened? He seemed on the level. Well, somebody screwed up somewhere. The guy came out of jail a month and a half ago, did three years for trying to kill her. I swear to God, Lewis, I, I wouldn't have taken the case if I'd known. Well, you should have known. You should have found out. Jack. Jack, listen to me. You did your best. You checked out his story. He was using her brother's name. It's not your fault. I thought I was smarter than those guys. This time, I wasn't. We'll be more careful next time. I thought I was being careful. And now two people are dead. Well... Ramsey Investigations, may I help you? Yes, one moment, please. Jack, it's Richard Whitmore. I think you should take it. Hello? This is Jack Ramsey, yeah. I, I don't think so, Mr. Jack. All right, all right. Um, tomorrow? Yeah. Gabriel Valley. Okay, okay, I'll be there. 9 a.m., yeah. This is just what we need. This could lead to corporate work. You heard of Gabriel Lumber? This is the guy. I was reading somewhere they're having trouble with militant environmentalists. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Eh? Ramsey, I'm Catherine Whitmore. Hi. Hi. My father's waiting for you. Did you have any trouble finding the place? No, I just followed those uh, yellow circles. Oh, yes. We had to mark which trees are spiked. Spiked? Yes, our tree-loving friends find it's the best way to stop us from logging. They drive metal spikes into as many trunks as they can. Harmless to the tree, but if you hit one with a chainsaw, 
One of our people lost an arm two weeks ago because of it. Father, this is Jack Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey, glad to meet you. Jack, please. Very well, Jack. You can call me Richard. We'll continue this later, guys. I see you've met my daughter. Yeah, she's finally decided to come back and work for the old man. She was educated in Europe after her mother died. She's a fine lawyer. I'm sure she is. She's been telling me about the, um, the spikes in the trees. Do you have any idea who's uh, doing this? Well, now they call themselves the Environmental Rescue League. A month ago, they were just a bunch of unemployed college dropouts. The most they ever did was wave a few signs and chain themselves to some trees. But when they saw that was getting them nowhere, they brought in Vic Marvey. The man is a professional agitator, the hired gun of the environmentalist movement. Now, they are a serious problem. Yeah, so we're here to see how much of my land they've sabotaged. You own all this land? Yep, as far as the eye can see, the entire Gabriel Valley. Over 300 square miles of old growth forest. But uh, enough of that. Let's discuss why you're here. You mean it's not about the forest? No. No, it's about my wife. I think she's having an affair. I see. Jack, I'll pay you double your usual fee. And there is the possibility of corporate work in the future. What makes you think she's having an affair? Several months ago, I had heart surgery, triple bypass. For a long time before that, I was in very poor health. So I haven't been much of a husband, and uh, I'm afraid she may have wandered. You'll find everything you need in there, plus a check to get you started. Well, as I say to all my clients, I, uh, I hope you're wrong. Hello, Mr. Deadbeat. The police are out looking for you, Mulvey. You're wanted for attempted murder. You were warned it would be your fault if anyone got hurt. What do you want? You know damn well what we want. Abandon all plans to clear-cut the timberland in the Gabriel Valley. I will not be intimidated by you or anybody else. You know, I thought we had a chance to be friends. You know what your problem is, Whitmore? You underestimate us. You still think you're dealing with a bunch of boys, Cal. That is, baby. You got what you wanted, Mulvey. Now clear out. It isn't what I wanted. It's what I'm doing to protect this piece of God's earth. Now, this is your final warning. You are responsible for whatever happens next. I can get this guy for you, Mr. Whitmore. No, I'll deal with him. You just do what I asked you. I need to know the truth. Which do you prefer? They both look nice. I know. And they cut my mind. Um, I'll take both. Leaving so soon? Yeah, I've got to get back to work. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, work and wait. You, uh, 
seem familiar. Do I know you? I don't think so. What's your name? Jack. Hi, Jack. I'm Isabel. Hi. So, Jack, you work around here? Yeah, not far. What do you do? I'm in uh, information technologies. <laughs> Sounds complicated. Oh, it's complicated. Sometimes boring. Mm. How about you? Oh, nothing much. I like to come here for the music. I just need to get out once in a while. Somebody keeping you prisoner? <sighs> in a way. No, my husband was very sick for a while. Oh, really? Oh, don't worry, he's fine now. He's back to his old self. I guess that's the problem. So you're married? You're a nice guy, Jack. Make me smile when I don't want to. I'm also a good listener. What do you want to hear? Well, you stay with a man who makes you miserable. I guess I'm waiting for it to get better. What if it doesn't? Well, then I'll keep talking to strangers. Maybe I'll see you around, Jack. I hope so. You're here. Bring me good luck. Are you sure you want to do that? I have to. It's the only way I can break even. Okay. No more bets. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 22 black. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Green. Black was me. Come on, let's go. Yeah, look at that. This is to my Mercedes. 500 SEL. It's worth close to 100 grand. Give me 60 for it. Crazy. Uh, give you 30. Come on, 40. 30, Hoss. Take it or leave it. You know what that's? Come on, sweet thing. Bring it Come home. Come on, baby. Come on. Even money. Come on, even money. Come on. Even money. 
27 red. Oh, God. His name is Kevin Green. Do you know him? Yes, he's head of our legal department. I haven't seen enough. I'm sorry it had to be this way, Mr. Whitmore. More than anything, I... I loved her. That's why she was able to take advantage of you for so long. Is this the only tape? It's the original. There are no copies. Good. There's an envelope for you on the desk. Your final payment. Thank you. Is there something else? No. That's it. Then goodbye, Mr. Ramsey. Mr. Edwards is your 10 o'clock. He'll be making a report on the new software system he looked into. Then you're free until after lunch when Timerson from Acquisitions wants a meeting. The Brazilians didn't like some of the clauses in the contract. Hey, Jack! Get over here! Where you been? I figured you didn't want to be seen with me for a while. Uh, get real, Jack. You took a bullet from me. I owe you my life. How long can I stay mad at you? Well, the drinks are on me, huh? Sure. Another glass. Lydia with you? Yeah. I have something for you. Luce, this is evidence. Not anymore. You'd lose your badge. Relax. Never tagged it. You saved my ass again. Everybody dropped the ball on this one. The parole board never notified the ex-wife that he was getting out. And when he skipped parole, an arrest warrant was issued. But nobody followed it up. Poor girl never had a chance. If you two are finished. Hi, Lydia. Hey, boss. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry, honey. Here you go. My friend. So? Are you gonna tell him? Tell me what? 
Since you introduced us, Jack, I wanted you to be the first to know. Lydia and I are engaged. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a rock. Only the best for my Lydia. Mm, I have the best. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. When did you pop the question? About an hour ago. I promised Lydia that when I made detective, I'd marry her. And I'm a man of my word. It's only a year late, but who's counting? Hey, you try getting a rock this size uh, on a cop's salary. Jack, when the time comes, I want you to be my best man. Mm. I'd be honored. Here's to you, Jack. I hope you find somebody, too. These are the 90s. Nobody should be single anymore. I know I could use some love and affection, Lydia. Mm. Well, here's the happiness, whoever we may find. The happiness. <laughs> Richard? Richard, are you ready to go home? Morning, Lydia. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Jack. I need to talk to you about some of that wedding stuff, uh, but I got a crime scene to check out. Come on, talk on the way. Okay. So Lydia's mom wants to have a summer wedding. Which means I gotta be trussed up in a penguin suit in the middle of a goddamn heat wave. Anyway, I know Lydia's dying for a June wedding, but if you haven't booked a uh, hall tears and adventure, screw this. The guy's name's Kevin Green, some hotshot lawyer. Yeah, I know. I never get used to it either. Let's get something to eat. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Sir? Sorry, ma'am, but he'll talk sir. to me. Sir? You son of a bitch. It's all right, Denise, you can go. I'm sure you have a very good explanation for this. I've just been to see Kevin Green. So, he's dead. What happened? Somebody shot him. And since he was sleeping with your wife, I figured I'd talk to you before I went to the cops. Oh. So you think I did it? Yeah. Who do you think you are, accusing my father? Where were you last night? You don't have to tell him anything. Then he can tell the police. If you must know, I was with my wife. You have no proof that I had anything to do with Kevin's murder. Well, if you didn't do it, who do you think did? Relax, Jack, okay? You know, you were right the other day about taking care of Vic Mulvey. Mulvey? That orangutan that shot one of your men in the woods the other day? Yeah, we were working on a deal with him. Trying to pay him off. A bribe. A settlement. It was Kevin's idea, he thought that if we waved enough money under his nose, he'd take it and go away. 
Now, Malfi played hardball, Kevin played right back, and I'm afraid that Kevin might have gone a little too far. Kevin taped their conversations. He threatened to turn the tapes over to the police if Malvi refused to cooperate. It would have ruined Malvi and exposed him for what he is, an extortionist. Now Kevin's dead. How much have you paid him? 100,000. Where are the tapes? I have no idea, only Kevin knew where they were. Why not just go to the police? I don't think you realize what would happen to her corporate image if the media got hold of this. Yes, Denise. A detective Del Vecchio is on his way over. He wants to speak to you, but he wouldn't say what it was about. Jack. We need you to take care of Vic Mulvey. Make a deal with him. Whatever. Get rid of him. And if you can, find the tapes that Kevin made. Once we have those tapes, we'll inform the police about Malvi and his involvement with Kevin. Is there anything else I should know? That's all. Yes. Just one thing more. If and when we go to the police, I do not want my wife's name mentioned. Is that clear? I'll decide what to tell the police when the time comes. I'll be in touch. You, Jack, isn't it? What's happened to your arm? Nothing. I fell. That's all. Look, if you don't mind, I'm really not in the mood for company right now. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Are you okay? You okay? I can't leave you like this. You tell me what's wrong, maybe I can help. Is it about your husband? He had me followed. He found out about someone I was seeing. He had a videotape. I tried calling my friend all night, but there was no answer. And then on the news, uh, I heard. He's dead. He's dead. Someone sh shot him. Jack, I'm so scared. I... What if my husband killed him? Last night, he threatened to kill me. I'm afraid to go home. I don't know what to do. Well, where do you want to go? Somewhere, Greg. Somewhere you'll be safe. Come on. I'm sorry about the mess. It's the maid's day off. What spice you got? Ain't mine, it's the bank's. Welcome, come in. Uh, sit down, relax, make yourself at home, watch TV, do anything you want. There, there ain't much in the fridge, but I could send down and get some stuff for you if you like. Jack, it's okay, really. You've already done more than enough trying to cheer me up. You can spend the night if you like. I'll sleep on the couch, really. Why are you being so nice? You really don't even know me. I don't know, I just... I just don't want anything to happen to you. Thank you.
Richard gave it to me for protection. Some environmentalists have been making trouble, sending threats to the company. Richard didn't want me taking any chances. Like I could actually shoot someone. Put it back in my purse. I can't stand the sight of it. You're going back to him? I just want to talk! Hey, Vic! Just want to ask you a few questions! Jordan. Right here, buddy. You're in the wrong zone. Get on your feet. Get on your feet! So tell me, Mr. Private Eye, why are you here? I'm investigating Kevin Green's murder. Green? Whitmore's mouthpiece is dead? Yeah. And I heard you had something to do with it. Why would I want to kill a barn rat? Because he had tapes of you, putting the squeeze on Gabriel Lumber, and he was about to expose you for what you are. I know nothing about any tapes. I'm here just to draw attention to a worthy environmental cause. Nice scam, Vic. Pretending to fight for Mother Nature. Wait until the big guys paid you off. You stood to lose big, didn't you? Green revealed those tapes. If I kill Green, what's to stop me from killing you right now? Money. Whitmore wants to know just what it's going to cost to get rid of you. He knows my price, 100 grand. He's already paid you that. Is that what he told you? Green gave me a measly $10,000. Been jerking me around for weeks, lying about the payment. All the more reason for you to kill me. Why waste my time on someone who's already dead? Whitmore's next. Have to wait and find out. Take him back to his car. Take his weapon, unload it, give it back to him. You're useless. Jack! Your ID. Tell Whitmore if he didn't pay me in two days, I will kill him. Jennifer Reynolds? Yes? My name is Jack Ramsey. I'm a private investigator. I'd like to ask you a few questions about your boss, Kevin Green. Come in. Thanks. 
would you like some tea? I just put some water on to boil. That would be great. So, Miss Reynolds, do you know what Kevin was working on before he, uh, before he died? Something to do with Gabriel Valley. I never knew the specific details. I thought you were his, uh, confidential secretary. Uh, did he often keep things from you? If he did, I wouldn't know about it, now would I? No, I guess not. Please sit down. How close were you to Kevin? What do you mean, how close? I mean, if he was uh, in trouble, would he have told you about it? He has before. Uh, Kevin had a, um, a gambling problem. I already told the police about it. When he was, uh, you know, in his worst period of debt, how much did he owe? Around, um, around 300,000 at his worst. That's a lot of money. Where did he find all that cash? He said he was on a winning streak. Kevin was supposed to pay Vic Mulvey a $100,000. But Mulvey said he only received 10,000. Is it possible that Kevin kept some of that money to pay his debts? Mulvey got the money. Kevin told me and he wouldn't lie. Well, did he give you a key or a, a tapes or anything to hold for him? No. Did anyone else at the office know about his gambling? I don't know. I think you'd better go now. Look, if you think of anything else, please give me a call. Thanks again. Business or a pleasure? Well, you know me, Jack. I'm always trying to mix the two. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a minute, privately? Sure. In the office, I'll be with you in a minute. Good morning, Lydia. Morning. Any messages? Nothing I can't wait. Yeah, did that stuff on Green and Whitmore come through yet? No, not yet. Not a word to Lewis. We'll fill him in later, OK? Yeah, sure. Salus, what's up? You're working for Whitmore, aren't you? Hmm. Did Lydia tell you? No. Found out from Jennifer Reynolds. Seems you paid her a visit. Yeah, is that a problem? What gives, Jack? That's my case you're screwing with. Take it easy, Lewis. Whitmore just wants me to find out if anybody else in his company is, you know, at risk. Why didn't you tell me about it? I don't know. Does it matter? You bet your ass it matters. You're interfering with an ongoing police investigation. Listen, Lewis, I need the work, too. I need the money. I understand, Jack. But I don't want you getting in the way. Look, if Whitmore hadn't hired me to hire some other guy, suppose I fill you in on what I find out. Did you talk to Moby? Said he didn't kill Green. Basically, if he gets some money, he's out of there. And Reynolds, what did she tell you? She said her boss had a gambling problem. But he usually managed to pay his debts. Yeah, I checked that out. She had a thing going with him? Yeah, well... Green had his thing going with a lot of women, you know? <laughs> Jack, next time something like this happens, tell me. I don't like surprises. Sure.
Jack. What are you going to do? Shoot me? I'm so glad it was you. I'm waiting for you. I've got something to tell you. Yeah? Jack Ramsey? Yeah, what can I do for you? This is Jennifer Reynolds. I'm sorry to call you so late. Can you come over right away? I need to see you. It's three o'clock in the morning. I can't wait. I... I know why Kevin was killed. But I can't tell you over the phone. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Please hurry. Yeah. Where are you going? I won't be long, I promise. You'll be here when I come back. Maybe. Jennifer? Jennifer! Guy. Just got a little grace. Yeah, it's bad. Can't say the same for Reynolds. Looks like a broken neck. So you chased this guy, but didn't get a good look at him. That's right. Well, why didn't she just tell you about Green over the phone? I don't know. What else? Nothing else. Don't hold back on me, Jack. Why would I want to do that? Because you're working for Whitmore. Look, you got to drop this case, Jack. I mean, everywhere I turn, you're there. It's not right. The chiefs I was breathing down my neck. Louis, I can't quit this case. There's somebody killing people in Whitmore's legal department. And it's my job to find out who and why. You're in on this more than you ought to be. It's making me look bad. Me, I was making excuses for you. Well, don't. I don't need it. Jack, I'm begging you, I'm telling you as a friend, one last time, drop the case. It isn't worth it. 
Lewis as a friend. You don't tell me how to do my job, and I won't tell you how to do yours. Detective DeVecchio. What? We found the slug that hit Mr. Ramsey. Where'd you get it? This way. Thanks. Let's drop the case. You got that? he did. All of it. You don't need this. How about some coffee? A muffin? Sure. Oh, it must have been horrible finding that poor girl. But Lewis is probably arresting someone for her murder right now. He got an anonymous tip early this morning telling him where to find the murder weapon in the green case. He thinks the two cases are connected. Did he find it? Yeah. Somewhere in the Gabriel Valley. They're combing the woods right now for some guy named, uh, Vic Mulvey. Are you going home? Lewis said it was a pretty big operation. Where's Mulvey? He's dead. Oh, damn it, Lewis. He opened fire. We don't have a choice. What the hell are you so upset about? I had enough evidence to prosecute him for one, maybe two murders. I don't think he did it. We found a gun not too far from here, the same caliber that killed Green. We found thousands of dollars and some audio tapes that Whitmore says Mulvey would have killed to get his hands on. It don't make sense. Why would he leave the murder weapon so close to the camp? This is a setup, Lewis. We're not dealing with rocket scientists here. These guys have been eating dirt and twigs for the last six months. They were liable to screw up sometime. No, Lewis. There's more going on here than you think. Go to hell, Jack! I'm conducting this investigation, not you! And if you don't get out of my face right now, I'll have you charged with obstruction of justice. Yes, well, I'm glad this whole mess is finally over with. Yes, thank you, Detective. I will. Thank you. That was the police telling me about Mulvey's death. At least he's out of our hair. So, do you still think I did it? What? Kill Green? I don't know. But I don't think Mulvey did it. To be honest with you, it doesn't matter what you think anymore, Mr. Ramsey. With Mulvey dead, our troubles are over. See, the police are convinced that Mulvey was behind those two murders. So I guess your services are no longer required, Jack. It was a pleasure doing business with you. And remember, 
Anything you've learned about my company, my wife, or myself remains confidential. If not, don't threaten me, Mr. Whitmore. Your wife's secret, safe with me. Yes, Denise? Mrs. Whitmore is here to see you. Send her right in. Isabel, you're right on time. Just taking care of some last minute business. Jack, I'd like you to meet my wife. Isabel, this is Jack Ramsey. Pleased to meet you. Mrs. Whitmore. Mr. Ramsey is a private investigator. I find that to be a very interesting occupation, don't you? Thank you, Jack. Have a nice day. If I need you again, I'll call you. We still have to go over those Japanese contracts. Ah, yes, I forgot. I'm sorry, darling, but uh, why don't you go home? We'll leave for the country tomorrow. You hired him to follow me. Is he still working for you? Answer me! Isabel, go home. the boss's wife. How could you? Isabel, you don't understand. Oh, I do understand. When did you decide to make your move, huh? After watching me with Kevin? Did it get you all fired up? Look, I wanted to tell you, I just couldn't find a place or time. I mean, I know some guys like to watch, but what happened? Did you get tired of home movies? I hope you rot in hell. Oh, Isabel. Let me go. Please. Take your hands off me. Isabel. Oh, listen, I don't know if you still need it, but I finally got that information you wanted. I don't know why it took so long. What information? Green and Whitmore. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Anything interesting? Well, let's see. Kevin Green graduated from an Ivy League law school near the bottom of his class. Beautiful. After that, he went to work as a plaintiff lawyer for a small firm in the South. He represented a group of farmers and sued a pulp mill for a billion dollars for dumping dioxin in the farmer's water supply. The case caught him national attention. Let me guess. Whitmore owned the pulp mill? Bingo. They settled out of court on condition the amount never be disclosed, and soon after that, Green joined Whitmore's company. What about Whitmore? Oh, he's your typical shrewd and heartless businessman. <laughs> Rich. Really rich. He's worth around half a billion dollars. Should be charged him more. <laughs> Telling me. What about this? Well, it's an article about Whitmore's first wife, Olivia. It's a pretty bizarre case. Whitmore claims they went out riding and she was thrown from her horse. The trouble was, he didn't report the incident until two days later said he was in shock. Rumors spread that there was foul play, but the coroner ruled it an accident.
Sheba. What are you doing here? Just go away. We need to talk. Richard's here. To hell with Richard. Don't touch me. Just go away. Not until you listen to me. What do you want? Listen, you were just another job to me when I met you in the park. I was in it for the money. The last thing I ever wanted to happen to you, though, was to hurt you. But you did. What more can I say? So when were you to tell me? There never would have been a right time. It's just... Isabella, I, I don't want to lose you. I'm crazy about you. We can never be together, Jack. Why not? Richard, it's... Don't leave him. Leave him. It isn't that simple. I'll fix it. Don't worry about it. He won't follow you. Well, what do you mean? Don't worry. I'll fix it. You've got to get out of here. No matter what you feel for me, you've got to get out of here. You are in great danger. Tonight. It'll be easier that way. I'll pick you up. No. No, that's too dangerous. I'll meet you. There's a lookout off the main highway near the town. I'll be there at two. I'll be there. Mrs. Whitmore, your, uh, your horse is saddled up and ready to go. What took you so long? I went for a walk. You were gone for over an hour. So I lost track of time. Why don't you check with your private eye? Watch your mouth, you understand? I have to go check the area near the North Lake Shore. It's late for that, isn't it? Sure. What are you afraid of? The dark? Isabel! 
here. I'm gonna go call for help. Hello, Earl. Earl, come in. leaving him. He was furious. He, he took off in the Jeep. I, I didn't know I was going to get to you. I was going to ride, but it was too dark. It's about Richard, he's... Uh, uh, what? He's dead. He went over the cliff just by the lookout. John, what, what have you done? I didn't do anything, Isabel. I didn't do anything. He was dead when I got there. We gotta go to the police. No, no, no. Not yet, but not yet. Well, let them come to you. And, and just tell them what you told me. But don't bring my name into it. You didn't see me tonight, all right? Okay. Okay. Listen, we can't see each other for a long time. Fred, I'm sorry. It seems like your Maria's been planning this trip to Italy for quite a while. I've got receipts going back here for a couple of months. Airline tickets, luggage, passport photos. She left the country three days before you hired me. Did she take my son with her? I guess you'd be wanting your money now. It was 600, wasn't it? Call it five. Look, if you want somebody to go to Italy and try and find her, I'd be willing to do it myself. I can't afford it right now. I'll call you when I'm ready. Thanks again, Jack. Sorry, I have to be like this. Yeah. Jack. Lewis. What gives? I haven't seen you hanging around any crime scenes lately. I'll have a draft and uh, whatever he's having. I haven't seen you around the office. The wedding's still on? Uh, don't remind me. Lydia's folks are pressing us for a date, but it's still up in the air. What are you working on? On the Whitmore case. Whitmore case? I thought after uh, and Mulvey's death uh, that it was closed. That was the Green case. I'm talking about Whitmore's so-called accident a few weeks ago. So-called? Well, my theory was that the old man had a heart attack at the wheel and lost control of the car. We'll never know for sure because the body was too badly burned. But the DA figures that. Uh, when a guy worth half a billion dollars drives off a cliff in the middle of the night, it's worth checking into. And in this case, he's got plenty to be suspicious about. Did Whitmore ever tell you how he met his wife? Um, his daughter? Five years ago. Catherine Whitmore defended Isabel when she was charged with murder. Murder? Yep. Her previous husband of only a year was killed when the car he was driving slid under an 18-wheeler. He was decapitated. Not pretty. Guess whose car it was? Yep. Isabel's. It was ruled that uh, faulty brakes caused the crash. She inherited on a $100,000 insurance policy. Now, 
That's pocket change compared to the 80 million she'll be collecting this time. Needless to say, forensics are still looking over Whitmore's car as we speak. 80 million? Yeah. But uh, the will's in probate. She won't see that uh, money for a little while. She'll have to settle for the measly 20 million the trustee's letting her uh, play with. Funny, you know, Jack. The old man might still be alive today if you'd have been checking out his wife and not Mulvey. Anyway, looks like this time she had a partner. Yeah. Who? Don't know yet. There were two witnesses. One of them saw Isabel with a man the afternoon of her husband's death. That same person matched a description of a man that was at the scene of the accident, but didn't wait for the police to arrive. Tall, dark hair, mustache. Thanks, Luz. I, I gotta get back to the office. Sure. See you later. Richard, like you got rid of your first husband five years ago. First husband. You believe them? I didn't say that. You don't have to. Well, I want some answers. I've already told you everything I know. Well, did Richard know we were going to meet at the lookout? No, of course not. Isabel, listen to me. The police believe you killed Richard. They have a description of an accomplice, me. You've got to think of some better answers. Why won't you believe me? Because it doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. Kevin, Jennifer, Vic, now Richard, dead. All dead. Why? Because of the money? But why would I want to kill anyone, Jack? Kevin, Jennifer, they meant nothing to me. Nothing. Well, where did Kevin get his money? Gambling. He, he wanted gambling. Come on, Isabel. When is the last time you saw him win? Uh, I don't know. Was it the forest? Stop asking too many questions! He I can't must have think! Said something. He must have! Come on, think! Put the gun down. No. I think I'm crazy. I remember what you said. You said you'd handle Richard. And that I wouldn't have to worry. Put the gun down. You were at the lookout, not me. How do I know what really happened? Isabel, put the gun down. No, I am not going through this again. Not again. Isabel!
Vecchio. Lewis, it's me. You're in a lot of trouble, you know that. Yeah, I figured. But I think I know why Green and the others were killed. Yeah? Meet me. Meet me at 3956 Lincoln Boulevard. Come alone. Okay. Thanks. I'll be waiting. Patrick and I bought this house just after we're married. Patrick? My first husband. We were gonna fix it up, restore it. He was an architect. He knew a lot about old houses. I didn't kill Patrick. It was an accident. I loved him. The way I love you. But I've told you everything. No, you haven't. This. Richard's last will. Where we killed Kevin wanted this. He had it hidden in his apartment. He drew it up for Richard just before his last heart operation. It gives you the house and a small little trust fund. Not much compared to the 80 million you were going to get under the old will. I don't understand. Don't lie to me. Kevin must have told you what was going on in this will and how you were going to lose out. You paid him to get rid of this, didn't you? But he didn't. Was he blackmailing you? No. He had a lot of gambling debts. You got tired of paying them off. Got here quick, thanks. Hey, any excuse to run a red light? What's going on? Whitmore's last will and testament. He wrote it before he went to the hospital. Green never filed it. There are changes in it that some people ain't gonna like. Thanks, Jack. This explains a lot. Green and Jennifer knew about it. That's why they were killed. 
Whoever killed them planted the tape and the gun to frame them all day. Could be. Come on, Lewis. I'll come easy. Give me your gun. Where is Isabel? Uh, I don't know. God, where is she? What the hell's the matter with you? I'm not gonna ask you again. I don't know. Why don't I believe you? What's going on, Lewis? Shut up, Jack! You just couldn't drop the case when I told you, huh? You just never listen! Get inside. Get inside. Now. Sure, she might still be in the house. What's in the will worth killing for? If you'd have looked at it a little more closely, you'd have noticed that while my father generously decided to leave me a few million, he gave away my birthright. Gabriel Valley, half a billion dollars in timber. He was donating it to the government for use as a national park. Can you believe it? Just before he went into the hospital, the old hypocrite found religion. I bust drug dealers that carry more cash in their pockets than I take home in a year. I got the scum of the earth taking shots at me. So you kill Green, and you frame Mulvey for it. Green was a blackmailer and the worst sleaze I ever met. And Mulvey, no one's gonna miss him. What about Jennifer Lewis? We did what was necessary. Now you're gonna kill me. I'm sorry, Jack. You brought this on yourself. You had to go get involved with Isabel. That's enough. We need to find Isabel before she gets away. Isabel, are you here? Isabel, I just need to talk to Isabel, you. don't listen to her! You shouldn't have done that, Jack. Get rid of her. Damn it, Jack. Why didn't you listen to me? Is it worth it, Lewis? Is it really worth it? Hurry up. Sorry, Jack. If you can't do it, I will. No! Police don't know who killed Richard. They'll never find any evidence. Thinking either one of us do it. Goodbye, Jack. Where are you gonna go? If you really want to, you'll 
you'll find me. the chiefs, don't you think? Yeah. Very nice. <sighs> you were so brave. Taking a bullet for you. I guess he felt he owed you. I guess. I just wish... Catherine Whitmore. Hiring someone to kill her own father. Sick. Did they find Whitmore's wife yet? <laughs> 